everybody, it's Gamalad. Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Tag Mansion Blonde plus Neptune vs. Zombies. In the last episode, we pretty much got drafted into making a movie about zombies attacking our school to save the school. So all you further to do, let's see what Neptune's master plan is right now to save the school by talking to the film club. You enjoy conversation with characters, menu, and shop. Don't ignore them too long or they'll get snappy. Well, especially Blonde, that's for sure. Blonde? Now that you've joined our club, let me introduce everyone. We'll start with the founding member, who also happens to be the president of the film club. <laughs> me. You already know, but I'm Neptune, a senior at Game Academy. Next up would be our number two, my little sister. Um, hello. I'm Netgear, and I'm a junior. I'm looking forward to working with you, Blonde. And, last but not least, our third and fourth members who just joined are... Me, Rom, and... Me, Ram. Well, that's some wonderful grammar you two got there. Well, so there are only four of us so far. That zombie guy from earlier isn't a member? He was just a volunteer. Members of the other clubs help us out sometimes. They don't want the school to close either, although I'm not sure why. They usually just skip class. Anyway, with that being said, welcome to our club, Juan. You'll be member number five. Well, it's better than being citizen number two or minister number one, that's for sure. No, I will not be five. I will be member zero. Member zero? I'm the director and scriptwriter, and since this all starts and ends with me, that number best fits my role here. In before the you're a total zero, Blonde. You're so cool, big sister! So, Neptune, what kind of film are you thinking of making? Oh, I don't know. I really haven't thought about it too much. Seriously? I thought you were at least working with some kind of zombie thing. Well, I mostly just wanted something scary for the scene, so naturally, zombies! We first had high school boys play the attackers, but it looked weird. Zombies were a less offensive choice. That was a smart move. Can I see your script? I want to see how your story's coming along so far. Mm, don't have one. Then what was the point of what you were doing then? I mean, you have to add some sort of direction of your film if you just if you had Ram and Ram sitting standing there screaming, unless you just said shit scene one, shot one, run to that wall, and that's it. Uh -huh. If you must know, I write it all out in my head. <laughs> that way, I'll never lose it. Neptune, you've probably lost your mind several times before. So you're saying if I want to read the script, all I have to do is smash your head open? That's good to know. Wait a minute, Blonde. Uh, I was joking. Uh, here, my script's right here. Please don't hit me. Hmm. <sighs> Neptune, this is awful. It's like you're cramming in things you think are cool without considering the story. Oh, darn. You could tell. Anyone could. It looks like the first order of business will be rewriting the script. We don't have a budget, but we could still make a great film with the right cast. We'll keep the zombie theme, too. Well, we, well, we need to keep the zombie theme because, well, that's in the title of the game. Wow, you sound so smooth, Blonde. <laughs> it's like you're reading your words right out of a script. Thanks. Anyway, a zombie film is pretty niche, so the schoolgirl theme should be mixed in to widen our target audience. I guess in Japan, the zombie genre could be considered niche, and well, schoolgirls and zombies, what could possibly go wrong, I guess? We're going with a schoolgirl theme. We could even film in the academy. Exactly. We'll open with a classroom scene. It'll juxtapose nicely with the zombie action that'll develop later. The time? Morning. First period. The place? Homeroom. The boring school day is about to begin. 
That's when we'll have a cruise ship suddenly crash into Of course my controller wants to go like, oh, your battery is low right in the middle of a recording. This is why I dislike recording console let's plays because Yay! We have we're gonna we're gonna interrupt your gameplay with a, with a pointless message. So this will be fun. What? A ship? Not a plane train or car? Why? We have to start off strong, but also use something that hasn't happened in real life so we don't offend anyone. I don't want protesters to halt production after all. We'll have backstory about the ship later on to make sense of it. Well, okay. Moving on. Bert, Noir, and Nepgear won't have time to escape the crash, so it'll be over for them pretty early on. I sense some pent-up hostility and aggression, Blonde. What? I'm going to die right away? Don't worry, you won't be alone. Neptune gets crushed by a satellite. And Uni will fall into a pit of magma in the schoolyard. Okay, Blonde, we may need to step in on this uh, of this plot of yours. Wow, this sounds a little crazy, even for me, Blonde. The audience will learn a mysterious virus aboard the ship leaked out and killed the students. Are we ripping off Resident Evil Revelations now? That's when things get interesting. The students, thought to be dead. Resurrect as zombies due to the virus. Whoa, that's a crazy story. But it's so enthralling! Amazing, Blonde! I want to hear how it all ends! Although, Uni's body probably wouldn't resurrect since she falls into that magma. She'll come back as a skeleton, which are a lot harder to kill than zombies. It's pretty amazing I can come up with something so cool on the fly like this. Hey, so this isn't the movie set, is it? Whoa! A new character appeared? Um, you don't look familiar. Who are you? My name is Tamsoft. Nice to meet you. And here we go. First person, first new character, Tamsoft. If you can couldn't tell already, this whole theme of this game is the personification of video game consoles, systems, and their companies into, into different characters. And here we have Tamsoft, one of the developers of this game. What a way to self-promote. Whatever you guys are filming right now seems pretty cool. And I was wondering if I could... Filming? Right now? What are you talking about? Come out to the hallway and check it out for yourself. Ah, shit. This is seriously shit. Uh, being a zombie. Such a bitch. What the hell? What's happening? Why are there zombies in the hallway? They're not those students who have been volunteering to play zombies. Are they real? Oh, I thought this was part of your movie. I guess I was wrong. It definitely is not part of our movie. We don't have zombie friends. Then they're the real deal, right? Uh, you want to mess with me, huh? And they're all Dokkyun zombies, too. I want to get to the bottom of this, but let's deal with these zombies first. Have an idea. Neptune, let's use them in our movie. What? We can't afford zombie costumes. If we're aiming for authenticity, it'd be hard to find better looking zombies than these. So, we'll be a character and filming while we fight these zombies? That's a great idea, Blonde! We'll talk about making the most of a um, terrible situation like this right now, I guess. Pretty great. Why don't you let me join you? No offense, but can you even fight? These are real zombies we're going up against. I can hold my own. I wouldn't miss a fun fight like this for the world. Well, that sounds good to me. Welcome to the club, Tamsoft. Let's make a movie. 
All right, we're in our first stage. Description, using real zombies to shoot a movie? What a great idea, if I do say so myself, and it gets the um, actor union off our backs. Now the Tamsoft join us, we'll start shooting. Clear conditions defeat all DQ and N zombies. We're, okay, level one to three. Half an hour to do this, please. We can do that easy peasy. At least I hope. Oh, we can pick what we want to play as. Okay, so we have Neptune, Tamsoft, Blonde, and Nepgear, Ram, and Rom. Well, since this is Blonde's game, We'll be playing as, um, as Blonde, and for our second character, we will pick, um, well, let's go ahead and pick, we'll bring in Tamsoft for this, I guess, she's, she's here, uh, start, starting out. Oh, starting the, oh, starting the cutscene, we'll suck, we'll suck the characters, proceed. Oh! Oh, okay, this, I forgot, so in this part of the game, you basically get to make, you're filming the scene, and get to pick which characters will star in the roles, and of course, I have friends who want to pop, uh, pop up online. See, this is, again, why I don't like doing PlayStation or other types of games, because, Oh yeah, my friends want to show up or record. I need to turn that off, honestly. But anyway, um, okay, well, we'll have Blonde in this scene. I guess for the best combination, it would probably be Blonde and Neptune. I don't know. Let's try this out. All right, start with cutscene of these two characters. Yes, let's do this. Let's start the scene in Homeroom, like we talked about earlier. The protagonist will recite her monologue there, too. Hmm. Let's have Neptune play the protagonist. And the heroine will be... Rom or Ram? Who should I pick? Neither. Well, actually, we haven't decided yet. What? Well, Big Sister, why can't you be the heroine? Whoa, that's a great idea, Rom! Well, if no one else wants to... I guess I could do it. My name is Neptune. I'm just an ordinary girl who attends this fine academy. Today is just like any other day, but when I think about having to study for one more second, I get so depressed. Ugh. Whoa! What? What? Oh no, a huge cruise ship just crashed into the academy. What? The ship's bow crashed right through the class next door. I'm not sure anyone could have survived that. I wonder what this weird smell is. Weird smell? Now that you mention it, what is that? Uh, uh, uh. Zombies? Why are they at the academy? I don't know, but at this rate, everyone will be eaten. Then we have no choice but to fight! Can you give me a second? All right, and here we are in this first battle. We've got Nep uh, Blonde and Neptune uh, in, in, w alongside of us. So look at all these, okay, zombie jellies, I guess. Or I forgot what they're called. Uh, Doggoos, I mean, or whatever. The, I forgot what they're even called. But I, I guess um, the zombie version of these guys probably aren't that uncommon in the, uh, into the, in the, Neptunia, in the Neptunia universe. Okay. So, okay, I'm taking a bit of damage here. More damage than I would like. Whoa! Okay, we're actually getting low on HP there. So let's actually um, pick our targets here. All right. So yeah, this is pretty much all this game pretty much boils down to is just uh, comboing up all these enemies and taking them out. Unfortunately for me, I have not learned the best way to combo. Whoa! My dude, don't you throw your head at me. Guess you can say he's losing his head. Hey, okay, okay, okay. I get it. That was a bad pun, and I pretty much cleared that very horribly. <laughs> but hey, at least we cleared it out. Let's see. How, let's see how bad our rank is. Oh, okay. Perfect rank. Super striker student. So let's hope we can keep that up throughout the game. Hey, blocking up Zoli rank has increased. Nice.
Thanks for so coming. that scene was pretty interesting. We started up the entire um, zombie uh, zombie invasion here. But okay, we can actually go back to scene two and see what else is going on here. So here we are, cut number two in scene two. The zombies just keep coming. We better get used to used to fighting them. Clear condition: defeat all zombies. Okay, levels one through three. Okay, seems pretty simple enough. Let's go. Let's go ahead and clear this mission out. So let's see. I guess for the time being, maybe okay. We'll, we'll continue to use. We'll use blonde Thanks for and uh, nep gear. Let's try this, this combination. What? Really? Okay, I'm going now. So it just seems like it's fighting even more zombies as we go for the school. Don't know why they actually had a need to, uh, I guess, to um, remove, or sorry, have us go through the menu again to go see the scene. I mean, just like, you know, just like, okay, a little small dialogue advancing into more zombie fighting. But hey, that's pretty cool. We're doing a lot better off in this fight of, of, of the camera angle. It would be nice if it didn't uh, get obscured like that. Uh, okay, taking a bit more damage. Oh, okay, would you guys stop knocking me over? I know I... Whoa, okay, it's got out of the corner. Okay, there we go. So I, got, I, I haven't played Hyrule Warriors in a while, so I'm trying, I'm trying to readjust these controls. The camera angles are a bit wonky, though. Whoa, your head... Okay, guys, stop losing your head over me. And we're, ooh. Okay, learn, learn how to dodge and learn how to not die. Alright, so... Okay, we need to... Whoa! And Blonde's down. Alright, time for Neptune's turn. Woohoo! Okay, oh, okay, so, so if someone is taking out, the, they have a they have a cooldown period before coming back in again. Okay, yes, I do apologize for this um very bad gameplay. Oh, we actually get some help in here now. So let's try this out. Or not. I don't even know exactly what that really did by, by pressing square and X for um, ROM or iffy. I need to reread the instructions again, but I'm pretty... Oh, oh, they give stat boost by the looks of it. That's pretty cool. So those zombies are taken out. Let's see. Ooh, can we actually go out in the hallway? Interesting. So we could have actually taken the fight elsewhere. All right. It makes sense. I'm Doesn't matter if, if someone took a took a hit, though. We still got the the triple S rank, which is pretty nice. All right, cool. Blonde and uh, Neptune's Lily, Lily rank went up. So let's see what else we have to do in this scene here. So yeah, this game, you know, it's pretty fun for what it is. Uh, my only problem, my, I guess, my gripe right now would have to be the frame rate of this game. Um, it's locked. In, I think I'm pretty sure. It's locked at 30, but, you know, hey, okay, scene three, or cut three. Are you getting the hang of this yet? Seems like the virus is spreading even to, to the local foxes. Let's, uh, let's take this seriously. C clear condition, defeat all enemies. Okay, let's go ahead, and I really did like the way Nepgear was fighting, because she seems a bit a lot more fast, so we'll, um... Yeah, well, now, I'll try Blonde one more time, because this is her game, and she's my favorite Nep, so we'll try her again, and we'll do Nepgear again. All right, we'll proceed with these characters again, and let's hopefully, well, we'll start catching a bit more of this on the fly as we go along, and not get our butts handed to us again like we did in the first like a few minutes. Hey, Rem, are you sure it makes sense for me to be in this sword fight scene? My character died already. Duh! The more people in the scene, the more flashy the action becomes. Oh, you do have a point. If we don't like it later, we can always fix it in post. Hey, that's pretty much what I do on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm recording these videos. Alright, let's do this. I think we've lost the zombies. Hey, isn't that our class president over there? And it looks like she's having a pretty intense battle. Yep, that's definitely the class president. She's truly unrivaled in both the literary and martial arts. And the person fighting alongside her is none other than the vice president of the academy. If we team up with them, we'll be safe! Hey! I don't care what you are. I will end you. These zombies are everywhere. I just hope our classmates are safe. Hmm? What's that sound? I think it's getting closer. Wow! Oh my gosh! The president! A satellite just fell out of space and crushed her to pieces! Wow! What's happening? A little what? Did number two just fall in the crack that formed in the schoolyard? Oh my god! The school's 
Anakin and Command just died at the same time. To top it off, I think the zombies that were fighting them noticed us. Oh man, I thought we'd be safe. Alright, Blonde, I have to say this, my suspension of disbelief in your movie is completely gone. What are the odds of a, of a ship, not in the water, crashing into the school, a satellite sla uh, hitting the school president, and a, 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 a pit forming or something? I, I don't even know. And, and wait a minute, that gear just apparently died. Why is she fighting alongside us then, huh? Oh, why, why do I care? Okay, anyway. Okay, so... Uh, Blonde packs a punch for- uh, wow, yeah, she- again, she- she packs more of a bigger punch than anything else, but she's very slow to the draw. Ooh, yeah, okay. Guys, please, leave me be. So, okay. I think I should probably start focusing more of my attention on the big guys, because they're gonna be the ones throwing their heads around and causing the most damage. The little ones, I'm not too worried about much. Okay, so now we can actually rely on our friends to provide- provide us some cover or some boost. So let's go ahead and do this. Alright, you go over there, little wolfie. Hey, zombies, where'd you go? Oh, all the big ones dead? Also, oh, nope, just one, just one of them left. Don't lose your head, my friend. And... Oh, there's one more left. I wonder where he's at. I didn't see... Oh, there you are. Oh, hi, little guy. Um... Are you gonna... Are, are you gonna... Are you gonna attack? Or are you just gonna stand there? <laughs> he's not doing anything! Oh, wait, no, he's not doing anything! Do you guys, like, just don't attack when there's like, only one left? Okay, that makes sense, I, I I guess. Oh, well. So let's see how we did. I'm pretty sure I, I screwed up the S. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, I was gonna screw up the rank because I started to go like, hey, I'll just stick around and see what it's like here. Oh, you've acquired a support character, D uh, Dogu Man. Is he the one from B uh, V2? Or... We'll find out uh, next time we do this. Uh, no saving for now because the this, this thing about this game is you only get one save file. So I don't want anything to mess up while recording, and I lose all this progress. You were able to defeat them, but why would zombies be? Juan, are you sure we defeated them? Don't they have the ability to resurrect? Big sister, look! The zombies! What's going on? Whoa, I didn't see that coming. Who would have guessed the zombies were our own classmates? How are they able to return back to normal? They were zombies. I swear their bodies were rotting. It's pretty obvious. It's because we're CPUs. Our share energy must have had something to do with it. Share energy? What's that? CPUs have special abilities, and they're powered by the faith of the citizens of game industry. That faith manifests itself into what is known as Share Energy. Yep, and I'm pretty sure that Share Energy is what turned the zombie students back to normal. It can't be that easy. Actually, it's highly likely. What? You too, Blonde? Sounds too convenient. Well, if Hist if Histor Histoire was in this game, you could probably ask her for some help, but... I guess that's kind of cheating if we ask the all-knowing oracle on what is going on. Here, you should know how this works by now. The people's faith always helps us CPUs save the day. So, where do I fit in? Maybe if you hang out with us long enough, some of that energy will rub up on you somehow. Woo! And that convenience will act as a favorable win to a movie. Non-fiction schoolgirl zombie action movie. This will definitely be a blockbuster. Yeah! Let's save the Academy from zombies while we shoot the movie! It sounds like something only we could pull off. Saving the Academy will be good promotion for the movie, too. This is gonna be great. More students around the world will want to attend our Academy. It'll be a huge success. In the most difficult voyages, a harsh wind can become our ally, presenting us with new friends and experiences. I want to let the wind take its course, to let fate place me wherever it likes. I just hope that it's a place I want to be. Alright, so that's pretty interesting. Alright, new, new achievement too. Treasure will appear when you simply defeat enemy. Make sure to take a lot of quests. 
All right, so next time on Let's Play Mega Tech Mansion Blonde plus Neptune vs. Zombies, we'll be going on to Scene 3, the town area, and seeing what's happening there. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of the series so far. Any questions or comments about the game, I'll, I'll be, I would be more than happy to answer for you guys. I really do, I am enjoying this game. It's a lot of fun so far. And also be on the lookout for my full review, of this game, or full review of this game. It should be going up in a week or so. So as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad signing off.